Hey friends, look at all the stuff on the table. This is because we may have done things a little bit backwards, or at least we thought we did. So we had built this amazing dual system in the Fantex N3 Elite Super Chassis. It was crazy. It was banana hammocks level on say 9900K, 20ATI, 2700X with a Radeon 7. But we kind of we kind of gave the 9900K and 2080Ti the short end of the stick. I mean, we had this board with the Z390i, which is fine, but then we had it on this little itty bitty cooler for the CryoRig C7 copper version. And the 9900K just runs super hot, whereas the 2700X doesn't. And we had the 2700X cooled by this fractal design Celsius S36, 360 millimeter radiator for the lesser uh, needs CP. So today, instead of using the Crosshair 7 Hero for the 2700X, and instead of using the ROG Strix Z390i for the 9900K, we're gonna swap it around. We're gonna be using our Z390 MSI Godlike Gaming for the 9900K. We're gonna put that on the main system and allow that to be cooled by the S336. And then we're gonna put the 2700X on our ASRock X470 Mini ITX Fatality Gaming motherboard. And we're gonna swap things around and we're gonna see what type of performance difference are we gonna get for the 9900K? Are we gonna get performance loss on the 2700X? And we're gonna have the ultimate dual system again. And we're gonna start with that after I tell you about today's video sponsor. Today's video sponsor is actually Backblaze. My friends, if you haven't heard about them, you need to use them because they can back up all of your files on your computer for just $6 a month per computer. There's no gimmicks. You can back up PCs and Macs, unlimited cloud storage, it's done. The documents, music, photos, everything. Everything that you possibly have on your computer, they back it up. And the backups occur automatically and you can access your data anywhere in the world, no matter what, wherever you are. Also, if something happens to die on your computer, you can buy a hard drive from them. They'll ship it to you overnight. And then you can also refund that hard drive back to them once you're done so that you save all of that money there and you're just basically paying for the shipping fees to make sure that you restore your system in case a huge accident happens, a hurricane takes out your house, something like that. Back Backblaze is the place where you want to keep your data safe and they have over 750 petabytes of storage to make sure that everything is perfectly covered and they've restored over 40 billion documents so far. That's a lot of return documents and memories, my friends. So if you're interested in making sure that your computer is protected, all of your documents are backed up, if you're using professional stuff, if you're trying to make sure that you have a backup plan in case something goes haywire, you can go to backblaze.com forward slash UFD. You'll get a fully featured 15 day free trial. You can make sure that everything is the way you want it set up. You play with it, make sure all of your documents are backed up 15 days before free backblaze.com forward slash UFD. Check it out and make sure you're safe. Okay, sponsor spot done. Let's get into build montage mode. Hope you guys enjoyed that little build montage. Big thanks to iFixit and their uh, handy dandy ProTech toolkit for making sure that it was a breeze to install. You can check out the link in the video description where to pick one of those up. We build everything with iFixit around here. Anyways, look at this thing. This thing is set up. It is so huge and so empty. And before I turn it on and see if it works, I do want to uh, mention that we are still planning on doing a full custom liquid cooling loop. We actually got EK on board. They sent us the 2000 plus dollar uh, parts that we needed to get all of this set up, including mono blocks for the, to, for the motherboards and blocks for the, the graphics card. So we're waiting on that to come in. There's a little hold up with customs. So we wanted to just do something with the system while we still had it in the meantime, before we actually like lock everything down with liquid cooling. So yes, that's still happening. Um, and also for the AMD system, we didn't go with liquid metal on the CryoRig C7. I just went with uh, the, Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which is pretty good. So that should be fine. Everything's flipped on. I'm gonna press the power buttons and we're gonna see if this works on first boot. Okay, so that's the Intel 
uh, NVIDIA system, and then let's try AMD with AMD. Turns on. First boot, there we go. Both cards working. Obviously, this is hugely empty. We're gonna have uh, custom or just reservoirs right there for when, but like when it's just two systems, the Fantex N2 Elite is just so big by itself. Look at that, it's so massive. Look at how big this thing is. It's just doing a double boot. Obviously, we have the 32 gigs of Trident Z RGB. Then down with the AMD system, we have the 16 gigabytes of Trident Z Royal RAM down there, which is gonna be hard to see, but it's the royal kind. Then we have the RGB power supply down here for whatever reason. And then, ooh, this Fantex N3 Elite just looks so gosh dang good, even if it's way too big for any practical need that anybody could have in their entire lives ever. We're gonna, we're gonna benchmark it now, and I'll get back to you in just a second, okay? Through the magic of editing. Oh, we're back. Hey, look at that editing. Quick time. I've already benchmarked this entire system. It's nighttime now. It's also cold, which is why I put on a jacket. I don't have one of those famous LTT hoodies yet, but I'm waiting to hear from them about hooking me up, maybe. Anyways, let's talk about the difference in the system. I was actually quite surprised at how much flipping the systems around could affect not really performance, but thermals. The one that I was really surprised about was the thermals on the RTX 2080 Ti which after I thought about it for half a second, it made a ton of sense. So if we take a look at the benchmarks between the Intel Nvidia system from last time when it was the mini ITX system, and then the Intel Nvidia or the AMD AMD benchmarks when it was the ATX system, and we just compare them, what we find is that the Intel Nvidia system did much better this time in a lot of instances, and the AMD system really didn't change whatsoever. Once we aggregate all of the totals and all of the video games that we played, what we see is that the Intel Nvidia system had a about four and a half percent increase in gaming performance, which is nothing to sneeze at just by changing the cooling on everything. But the AMD system lost like 1%, which could like, out of, out of all 10 games, it lost 20 frames off of the last time, uh, off of the last benchmark. So AMD not really suffering. And one of the reasons for that is that the CPU was never really as much of a bottleneck when it came to the GPU. And even now, the 2700X reached 95 degrees Celsius on the Cryo Rig C7, but that meant it throttled down to 3.6 gigahertz, whereas most of the time it was at 3.8, 3.9 regardless. So the performance actually didn't change a whole lot. What did change was that's about a 40 degree increase from when it was on the Celsius S36. And then the GPU was also a bit warmer coming in at 79 degrees as opposed to the 65 degrees Celsius that was happening on uh, when it was on the full ATX system. But again, 79 degrees actually isn't all that hot for a Radeon 7, so we didn't see that much throttling. What we did see with the Intel system was about a 10 degree difference on the GPU, which is amazing. We saw also about a 27 degree difference on the CPU, that's because it's on a 360 rad, as opposed to that CryoRig C7, which ended up making it hit 100 degrees Celsius, whereas now it never reached above 73. So that's pretty fantastic, but the biggest surprise for me was the 2080 Ti coming in at 10 degrees cooler, but as you could probably guess, that's because of its vicinity to the glass. You see, we didn't benchmark it as an open system. What we did was we actually closed it off like it's a real computer. So. You can see just how close the Radeon 7 is to the glass. The RTX 2080 Ti was in a similar situation. And the only reason it was 88 degrees on the 2080 Ti was because once a 2080 Ti hits the thermal limit of 88 degrees, it just starts dropping clocks like it's nobody's business. And so we saw a pretty decent slowdown on the 2080 Ti because of that. But with it running at 78 degrees, this time we were able to maintain clock speeds around 1800, whereas before it was hitting the uh, standard boost clock speeds of around 1630, which is what NVIDIA promises right out of the gate. So we weren't seeing any GPU boost coming in on top and adding to the 2080 Ti, whereas now it actually had about 120 megahertz extra, 170 megahertz extra prior to when it was uh, on the mini ITX system. So just moving it back away from the glass actually helped tremendously, but What's gonna help even more is when we get the EK stuff in. I am so freaking excited to actually do 
that part of the build. One of the things that obviously is going to change is uh, since Ryzen 3000 is coming out, we are going to have to change the CPU in this, but the Crosshair 7 Hero should still be more than enough for a 3800X, probably even a 3900X if we can get our hands on one of those, but we're gonna make this the best eight double system that we possibly can, 9900K, 2080i, plus the 37, 38, 3900X, plus the Crosshair 7 Hero, plus the Radeon 7, completely water-cooled. Everything is getting water-cooled. It's gonna be in this system. It's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, I just wanna give a big thanks to Wootware for sending over the Fantex N3 Elite and providing us with most of the parts in this system right now. Big thanks to iFixit for being your handy-dandy toolkits. Really appreciate that iFixit.com for slash tech, yikes. And uh, let's talk about today's video sponsor so you don't forget about them. Don't forget that today's video is brought to you by Backblaze. Go to backblaze.com forward slash UFD to get a 15 day fully featured free trial and make sure that you you like them first of all and then secondly that everything's actually backed up and you're protected and then if you want to continue, it's $6 a month. That's nothing for the peace of mind and making sure your documents are packed up. So backblaze.com, check them out. And that's gonna wrap up the video. Let me know what you think of us swapping it around. Did you expect the thermal performance that uh, happened between the swapsies on the GPUs? Was this about what you wanted? 5%, it's not that big of a difference, but it is a slight difference. So I'm kind of curious to hear what you guys thought about this little experiment. And if you want us to do more things like this, let me know down below in the comments. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. We have a lot more content coming out on the N3 Elite system uh, because we've got We've got things coming in, $2,000 of water cooling parts. So I'm just waiting on that. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Love you too. Bye.